Anthony Hopkins, a legendary actor. Anthony Hopkins, a legendary actor's journey from early history to pinnacle of acting career. Introduction. Sir Anthony Hopkins, one of the most revered actors of his generation, has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema and theater. His career, spanning over six decades, is a testament to his unparalleled talent and dedication to the craft of acting. This comprehensive essay delves into the early history of Anthony Hopkins, exploring his formative years, early influences, and the significant milestones that shaped his acting career. Early Life and Influences Born on December 31, 1937, in Marjum, Port Talbot, Wales, Philip Anthony Hopkins had a rather turbulent start to life. His parents, Richard Arthur Hopkins and Muriel Ann, struggled with their relationship, and young Anthony faced the challenge of growing up in a dysfunctional family. His parents divorced when he was just a few years old, and Anthony moved to the suburbs of Marjum with his father. Despite the hardships of his early life, Hopkins found solace in the arts, particularly in painting and music. His creative inclinations were nurtured by his maternal grandfather, a baker and self-taught pianist, who recognized Anthony's talents and encouraged him to pursue his interests. The young boy's love for music would later become a significant influence on his acting style. Early Education and Theater Beginnings As a young student at Jones West Monmouth Boys School, Hopkins displayed an aptitude for academics, but his true passion lay in the performing arts. However, due to financial constraints and societal expectations, he initially pursued a practical career in civil engineering. After completing his schooling, he attended the Cardiff College of Drama, Art, and Music, where he honed his acting skills under the tutelage of the renowned acting teacher, Elsie Fogarty. During this time, Anthony Hopkins immersed himself in the works of great playwrights, studied classical acting techniques, and explored various acting styles. The stage became his sanctuary, allowing him to escape the challenges of his personal life and channel his emotions into his performances. Early Theater and Television Roles Hopkins made his professional debut in 1960 at the Theater Royal in Cardiff, portraying various roles in productions ranging from Shakespearean classics to modern plays. His captivating stage presence and exceptional talent quickly earned him recognition, and he soon moved to London, where he joined the prestigious Royal National Theatre under the direction of Sir Laurence Olivier. In the 1960s, television emerged as a new medium, and Hopkins ventured into this burgeoning field. His early television roles included appearances in popular series such as The Saint, A Flea in Her Ear, and War and Peace. These roles showcased his versatility as an actor and laid the foundation for his future success on both the small and big screens. The breakthrough role, The Lion in Winter. Despite gaining recognition in the theater and television circles, Anthony Hopkins was yet to achieve widespread fame. However, this all changed in 1968 when he landed the role of Richard the Lionheart in the film adaptation of James Goldman's play, The Lion in Winter. Starring alongside acting luminaries like Peter O'Toole and Katharine Hepburn, Hopkins delivered a mesmerizing performance that earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. The Lion in Winter not only catapulted Hopkins into the Hollywood spotlight but also solidified his reputation as an actor of exceptional talent. Critics and audiences alike were captivated by his ability to breathe life into historical figures, a skill he would continue to showcase in many future roles personal struggles and the pinnacle of success. Despite his burgeoning success, Anthony Hopkins continued to battle personal demons. Struggling with alcohol addiction, he faced a period of self-doubt and uncertainty about his future in the industry. However, his commitment to his craft and the support of close friends and family helped him overcome these challenges. In the 1970s and 1980s, Hopkins took on a series of diverse roles that showcased his versatility as an actor. From his chilling portrayal of the iconic serial killer Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs, to his mesmerizing performances in The Elephant Man, The Bounty, and 84 Charing Cross Road, he demonstrated his ability to inhabit characters from a wide spectrum of backgrounds and personalities. His dedication and artistry were recognized with numerous accolades, including BAFTA Awards, Golden Globes, and Academy Awards. 
In 1992, he was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II for his services to the performing arts, becoming Sir Anthony Hopkins. Later career and impact on modern cinema. As the 21st century dawned, Anthony Hopkins remained a dominant force in the entertainment industry. His collaborations with acclaimed directors like Steven Spielberg, Amistad, Ridley Scott, Hannibal, and Oliver Stone, Nixon, further solidified his status as a cinematic icon. While his acting prowess was undeniable, Hopkins also ventured into directing and composing music for films. His directorial debut, Slipstream, premiered at the Sundance Film Festival in 2007, showcasing his talent beyond acting. Throughout his illustrious career, Anthony Hopkins has been an inspiration to countless actors, both seasoned and aspiring. His dedication to his craft, commitment to authenticity in his portrayals, and his ability to create unforgettable characters have set a benchmark for excellence in the world of acting. In conclusion, Sir Anthony Hopkins' journey from a troubled childhood in Wales to becoming one of the most celebrated actors of all time is a testament to his resilience, talent, and dedication to his craft. From his early struggles to his breakthrough role and subsequent rise to fame, Hopkins' acting career has been nothing short of extraordinary. His contributions to both the stage and the screen have left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Through his powerful performances, he has entertained, enlightened, and inspired audiences for generations. Anthony Hopkins' legacy as an actor and his impact on modern cinema will continue to be celebrated long after his lifetime, securing his place among the greatest acting legends in history. Thanks for watching.